Hi everybody, welcome to Ad Jean's intro to the lab bench. I'm Raven Baxter and I am bringing this series to you online as a resource for you and all of the molecular biologists looking to start their career in the lab. Without further ado, let's get into our first lesson of personal protective equipment, also known as PPE. So before we get into you actually doing experiments and you working with chemicals and reagents, the number one thing that we have to talk about is how to protect yourself when you get started working in the lab. Personal safety should be your number one priority once you get started in the lab. There are four different types of biosafety levels or BSLs. Biosafety level one and biosafety level two are the most common where there is little to no risk being posed to humans that are working in the lab. So working with very low risk microbes that don't necessarily have the potential to cause harm or disease in humans. And BSL-2 includes all of the personal protective protocols that BSL-1 has but with some additional precautions because the potential threats to humans and risks of infection and potential diseases, et cetera, increase as you go up from one through four. This protocol is directed towards BSL-1 and BSL-2 laboratories. So let's get started with PPE. And I'm gonna tell you some things that you should be keeping in mind as you get started in the lab. Number one, your lab coat. Your lab coat should fit well and snug to your body, and it should also be buttoned all the way. And this is to help protect from spills and potential accidents that can happen in the lab. You should be wearing gloves while working in the lab. And there should be different sizes of gloves accessible to you. Be sure to try out different sizes of gloves to know your fit. Your gloves should fit well enough so that you can move your hand around and do these intricate hand movements. You need good hand mobility to use pipettes and different instruments that we use in the lab. So try out different sizes of gloves. You should also not reuse gloves. If you need a new pair, just get a new pair and make sure that when you're finished using your gloves, dispose of them in the proper biohazard waste container. For those who have latex allergies, please be aware that some gloves are made with latex in them. Make sure that you read the gloves box if it says latex free or not. You definitely wanna keep an eye on that. Eye protection such as a face shield or goggles can be used as necessary. For BSL-2 work, make sure that you are wearing your goggles or a face shield at all times while in the laboratory. Now, we love the way that you look in your goggles, in your gloves, and in your lab coat, but please make sure that you are only wearing these things inside of the lab. We don't wanna see you anywhere else with them on. Your lab coat should not be worn in common areas such as the bathroom, offices, or the lunchroom. Make sure you keep these items in the laboratory and when you need to leave the laboratory and you need to touch a door, make sure that you remove your glove from one hand and open the door with your bare hand. And please do not touch your face. Here's a pro tip, if you tuck your sleeves into your gloves, you can protect yourself potentially from spills or accidents. And if you have a spill that's running down your hand, it won't necessarily go into your sleeve. And that is because your sleeve is tucked into your glove. Your lower body should be completely covered in clothing to protect yourself from hazards such as spills or other potential accidents that can happen in the lab. Make sure that you're wearing closed-toed shoes. And if you don't have closed-toed shoes, you can use booties to cover your feet while in the lab. 
And sometimes scientists work really long hours in the lab and standing, if you're able to stand, can be uncomfortable. So make sure that you wear comfortable shoes while working and up on your feet. Protecting yourself is important. Although simple, following appropriate PPE protocol goes a long way. It is the best thing to do to protect yourself in the lab while working. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a comment down below and let us know how you like the video and different ways that we can improve. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any other videos from AdGene. Visit these links to see more lab methods in action. Add Gene, a better way to share science.